How are you doing out there? My name is Kenneth Bird. I am the creator of Crystal Edge Technology Projection Screens using Smart Technology Game. All right, so this is a little special message to somebody on YouTube who, for some reason, has a bad habit of reposting our videos and trying to criticize our work. All right, so this fellow goes by the name of Jamie. I think Jamie, I think this is his name, and he makes a paint called Crow's Mix Metallica Mix 2.0. Now, we've had problems with this guy before where he was claiming that this first mix that he designed was actually was given away for free. We don't care, you know, he was given away for free and he was claiming it was better than the Crystal Edge technology screen. So, we took the mix, we made it up, we um, painted it on a piece of, uh, of, um, of a, on a surface and we posted it on YouTube. Now, if you're curious to see what happened in that demonstration, check out the link in the bottom of the comment section and you can see the Crystal Edge technology screen versus Crow's uh, whatever gray paint mix. All right, so now he comes up with another screen paint called Crow's Metallica Mix 2.0 and he claims the screen to be better than the Fusion Silver screen, which we have right here. Now, Crow, just want to tell you from the door, and I don't care if you repost this, but when we do get our hands on your mix, and we are, we are in the process of re replacing the order for that, for that paint, when that paint arrives and we do that side-by-side -side demonstration, I guarantee you will not like the results, and I'll tell you why. Fusion Silver is a very powerful screen. This screen has blown out the DMP Supernova. Uh, we did the um, Elite screen. We did the Dark Star 9. We did the Cinema um, Gray 5D. We did Firehawk G4, uh, Studio Tech 130. So, and we, we done, even when the DMP Supernova, we did the um, Infinity M Blade. These are powerful screens. And our screen was able to take these screens out with no problem. Even when I saw the demonstration that you did against the uh, Seymour AB 1.3, I really didn't see <coughs> much excuse me, of a game changer there. Now, when we did the Seymour AB 1.3 and 1.2, their MS and MB, you could see a huge difference between the skin tone on um, our screen versus their screen. But with your screens, we really don't see much of a difference. Now, I noticed in a lot of your demonstrations, you do them in very dark en environments, uh, very poorly lit environments. Uh, it shows the screen has really bad um, uh, a gain capability. Now, in our demonstrations, we nail our screens with 2,400 watts of light. We take 500 watt bar lights in the middle of the screens. We use low entry level projectors. And for some reason, you thought that the projectors that we always use are the NEC VT595 projectors, which are 2,000 lumen projectors. But no, actually, when we first test our screens, we use them on 48 lumen projectors that are 340, no, 320 by 240 in res. Now, you know, we've already had, uh, we've already proved to you that the Crystal Edge technology screen was far more superior than the free paint you were giving out. But I'm telling you from the door, man, a side-by-side -side demonstration against a Fusion Silver, the screen's a beast, man. It will tombstone your product, man. I'm telling you from the door, it will tombstone your product. And if you think I'm joking, when your paint gets here and we do that side-by-side -side demonstration, you will see. You will clearly see. And we're going to do it in a fully lit environment. That's how we're going to do it. We're going to do it under our terms. All right, so also, too, um, uh, we're gonna be bringing on some heavier sample sheets too, just to let you know that from the door, from the, from the right from the right from the door. Now, here's the thing I need to explain to you. You can repost this. I don't care. I know that you've been reposting my videos, and you know you've been um, pointing out to people like this is what he's doing wrong, and that's what he's doing wrong. So basically, we're doing we're <laughs> doing our demonstrations wrong. When we're using low entry level projectors, when we're hitting our screens with tons of ambient light, uh, when we're basically uh, testing against um, high tech and more and actually superior sample sheets, we're doing it wrong. So I've been in this business for five years. I've had contracts that you would not believe, and yet I'm doing it wrong. But you know, whatever to each his own, we really don't care. You know, talk is talk, but when your paint finally gets here and we do that side by side demonstration like we did with your first mix, you'll see exactly how how we do our business over here. You'll see exactly who has the more superior screen. I mean, come on. Here's the thing you gotta understand. I haven't seen any demonstrations of your screen against Supernova, not one. I've seen some demonstrations that you did about some screens that you claim were the top elite screens, but you know, when you Google top projection screens, certain screens come up and the ones you had in display on your video did not come up. I mean, you should you see the Seymour, you see the film screens, you see uh, one company we can't mention, but you, you know what I'm talking about by uh, uh, BD. We can't mention their name because they're court orders. But other than that, I mean, 
I haven't seen you. I would love to see you do a demonstration against BD. I would love to. I would love to see that, but I don't think you will. I don't think you will. I have yet to see you do a demonstration with a 500 watt bar light tape to your screen. At least do a demonstration where we do 2400 watts of light nail on the screen. Heck, the Fusion Silver has had direct contact with 300 watts of light nailing the screen. I can post that in the bottom of the comments section. You guys can check that out for yourself. But I have yet to see you do any of these demonstrations. So how can you sit there and say to me that, hey, you guys are doing it wrong? We're not. We're doing it right. This is why we're getting the contracts. This is why people are, uh, companies are contacting us. This is why our paint sells because we can back up that our paint can do what it can do. Our screens can do what they can do. Don't get mad at me and basically repost my videos. Now, funny thing, I found that you called yourself claiming that you made this paint called Sky Blue. Funny thing about it is we made that paint in 2014. I have video demonstrations of me actually posting the paint. I have sales records where we sold that paint. Also, too, I have beta testers that actually tested that paint. I can post those links, too. I Actually, I did post those links right on your, on your site to let you know that we made that paint first. But you stopped all that, so at least you know who made that paint. So I don't know. See, people want to claim. Actually, it's a funny thing about it. When we did the um, the Crystal Edge technology screen, you wanted to start a rumor that we copied your paint, but yet our paint blew out your screen. And yet you want to talk about copying, and you sit there and you copied one of my screen paints from 2014. All right, so, you know, just something to think about. So the bottom line is you can talk all the mess you want to talk. You can repost all the videos you want to repost. We don't care. You can sit there and badmouth our product. We don't care because the bottom line is when I get your uh, Crows Metallica Mix 2.0 over here and I do the side-by-side -side demonstration against our Fusion Silver, you'll see. You will definitely see. All right? All right. So you enjoy your reposts or whatever you're... You're, you're, I don't know, you're whatever, I don't know what you're doing, but whatever you're doing, just do what you do, because like I said, when your paint gets here, and we do that side by side against this Fusion Silver screen, you will see exactly, you're going to see exactly what it's all about, trust me. All right, so let's move on here, because I had enough, I had enough entertaining this guy, this guy really has some issues, I'm going to have enough entertaining him. All right, so let's go over here and show you what we're doing here. Now, we're going to use our 48 lumen projector, not 120 lumen, 48 lumen projector. Sorry about the cough in there, kind of sick here. Now, I'm going to show you when we start testing our screens out what we use. We use these dinky projectors, these are cheap projectors. If you have one of these, I apologize, but it's a very cheap projector. 48 lumens, 320 by 240. Now, the biggest problems people have about projectors is the fact that, you know, you'll have to have a strong enough lumen count in order to see the picture, especially if you have tons of light in the environment. Uh, Crow or Jamie, feel free to do the same exact demonstration. Just want to let you know that you can get this projector on Amazon for around $50, so feel free to do the same demonstration if you want to. Now, the screen is about eight feet from the wall, plenty of distance, and like I said, a lot of problems people have because now more and more people are replacing uh, their TVs with projectors, and one of the biggest gripes I hear from a lot of my customers sometimes when they call me, they go, hey, look, um, I want to use this, but I want to know if I use this in a fully lit environment. Will it interfere with my picture? I don't want the picture to fade out. I don't want it to become washed out. So they ask me how many lumens do they need. They need it. They have to do this. and have to do that. It's just so many questions. So this pretty much um, will show you that your projector is just fine and that basically that with our screens you can use pretty much just about any projector you want to use I mean it's 48 lumen projectors 50 bucks all right so I'm gonna remove this really quick from the screen and you can automatically see like I said 500 watt bar light in the middle of the screen and you can see that picture perfectly with no problem eight feet away on 48 lumens all right I love it when uh, this particular fellow, man, it's funny because, <coughs> sorry about that, he's reposting our videos, he's pointing out in the videos all the things that we are doing wrong, but yet he does not perform any of the demonstrations that we do. And you know why? Because he knows if he does these same dem demonstrations, his screen is going to fail miserably. So the only thing he can do is basically just repost our videos and tell, I guess, his followers that we are doing it wrong this is not how it's supposed to be done let me tell you something buddy our technology 
does not follow behind traditional projection screens. We are the only company that has a liquefied gain uh, chemical. This chemical is called, um, sorry, I'm about the name here, but I'm sorry. Lost for words here. This is what I do sometimes. I get a little, little twi tongue twister here. But it's called uh, Smart Technology Gain. Sorry about that. So, I got a lot on my plate, guys. I got to go downstairs. I got to take pictures for the website. I got to do a couple of demonstrations. I have a few contracts on my tables I have to look over. And I got to get ready for the Fusion Silver. So, we're rebuilding that website. And so, it's a whole lot of craziness with that. But, yeah. So, anyway, we are the only company in the world that has a liquid gain called Smart Technology Gain. And that allows us to be able to have a screen that can produce amazing picture and a bright, lit environment. Look at this. 48 lumens projector. 500 watt bar light in the center of the screen. All right. So, you know, you're going to have people, like I said, I tell people from the door, man, you're going to have people hate on your work. That's what people do. They got nothing better to do. They won't do the same demonstration that you're doing. They'll sit back and they'll hate on your work. You know, that's, that's, that's what they do. Okay, skip this. from the screen, bar light taped in the middle of the screen. That shows you how powerful the Fusion Silver gain capability is. Look at that. Now, like I said, all he can do is repost my videos and hate on them, but instead of him basically look saying, well, you know what? I'm going to outperform him. I'm going to do the exact same demonstration, but I'm going to do it better. No, nope, that's what he does. Look at this. Look how perfect the picture looks. Like I said, if you're going to do a demonstration, do it right or don't do it at all. Me personally, I thought it'd be too easy uh, to do the demonstration, with, you know, with this light on we have in here. So I thought, you know what? I'll make it a little harder. I'll take the 500 watt bar light to the screen. But like I said, you know, you can talk to talk, pull repost our videos. I really don't care. When we get your metallic and mix over here and we put it against this screen, you'll see exactly which one is the better screen. And usually I don't get involved in these little tiny um, <sighs> screen paint debates, but you know, sometimes some people, they, you, you just gotta shut them down. You got no choice but to shut them down. You, you know what I'm talking about. So, you know, we're gonna do what we do best. Look at my screen, 48 lumens, look at that. The color doesn't even fade. Look at that. figure the contrast level 
it's not going to be that good. If you figure the picture quality is not going to be that good, the sharpness is not going to be that good because it is a 48 lumen projector. It's 340, <laughs> sorry, 320 by 240. That's not even 720p. Look at the picture quality on that. But you know, you, like I said, you call this out. And, and the funny thing about it is, like I said, we wouldn't be doing this, but basically he felt the need to post this, repost our video. And he called this out. He wanted to challenge the Fusion Silver. So now you, you're going to get what you asked for. You're going to go against the Fusion Silver. That's half on the wall and half off the wall. I can move that away from the lights a little. I mean, don't get mad because, you know, you don't thoroughly do your test. That's not my problem, okay? You gotta do your test. You gotta do them right. You gonna do demonstrations, do them right. Okay, one more. I think I'm gonna do one more, one more, one more, one more. One more, one more. Okay. Um, let's see what I wanna do, what I wanna do, what I wanna do. Let me see. All right, I'm gonna grab this one right here. Okay, there were some pretty flowers. There we go. Now this is what I'm gonna do. I have, I've done this before already. I have a sample sheet right here of this is the supernova. And we do our test properly over here. Supernova right here. Uh, Jamie, just wanna let you know, if you basically tell me that you can't get your hands on the supernova sample sheet here's the information right here for you all right so anytime you want to you can call them up and they will give that to you for free if you ever want to do that test all right over here there is the supernova versus our screen and we still have a 500 watt bar light right in the middle of the screen all right Sorry about that. I'm grabbing something off the floor. I have another sample sheet on the floor. Uh, let's get our Dark Star 9 from Elite Screens. We'll put that right here at the bottom. There we go. All right, so we got the Dark Star 9 and we have the Elite Screen right there at the bottom. With the 500 watt bar light tape in the middle. On a 48 lumen projector, about 13 feet from the screen. I'm sorry, my bad. Nine feet from the screen, about nine feet from the screen, not 13 feet. 13 feet to be back a little farther than that. Okay. Come over here really quick. We'll come out of that real quick for a minute. I love doing these demonstrations, I'm telling you. I love doing these demonstrations because you know what? It finally puts the rest. All right, here we go. I'm gonna grab this really quick. There we go. All right, guys, before my time runs out here, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Crystal Edge Technology Projection Screens using Smart Technology Gain. Hope you enjoyed this video demonstration. Jamie, I hope you really enjoyed this demonstration yourself. Feel free to repost this video if you like and criticize our work on how we're doing our job wrong over here. And as I said, talk is just talk, Jamie, but just to let you know that when your screen paint gets here, that Metallica, point, Metallica Mix 2.0, we're gonna do this side-by-side -side demonstration against our Fusion Silver.
But this is just to show you what you're up against. Now mind you, that's a DMP Supernova. That's an infinity screen right there. At the bottom, we have the Dark Star, no, or Dark Star 9 by Elite Screens. We've got a 500 watt bar light taped in the middle of the screen. And look at all the light we have around here using a 48 lumen projector that's only 320 by 240. Okay guys, again Kenneth Burr from Crystal Age Technology Screens. Hope you enjoyed this video demonstration. Thank you all.